What's up, Chill Tribe? Um, today's the day, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm moving out of my place today. Moving to a different place. Got all my stuff kind of packed, you know, kind of not packed. It's, it's whatever. But uh, I might vlog it. I don't know yet. Um, it's snowing outside, so it's like it's going to be a drag. Anyways. This is Bill Hicks Marijuana. I don't remember who uh, requested this video, but let's just jump in, man. So I don't drink, I don't do drugs anymore. <laughs> I used to take drugs and I quit, but I'll tell you something, I have nothing against drugs whatsoever. That's kind of weird, huh? You've never heard that one? Used to take drugs, quit, and have nothing against them. Wow, never heard that? Let's hear more. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. I know this is not a very popular idea. You don't hear it very often anymore, but it's the truth. I have taken drugs before, and uh, I had a real good time. <laughs> Didn't murder anybody, didn't rob anybody, didn't rape anybody, didn't beat anybody, didn't lose mm, one fucking job, <laughs> laughed my ass off, and went about my day. <laughs> Sorry. Now, where's my commercial? <laughs> Shit, I'll be the guy holding that skillet in that commercial, man. That ain't a brain, that's breakfast. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> what have we been up? Five days now? I'm fucking starving. <laughs> <laughs> I find that commercial a tad insulting to my intelligence. You know the one? Here's your brain. I've seen a lot of things on drugs, but I have never, ever, ever looked at an egg and thought it was a fucking brain, not once. <laughs> I have seen UFOs split the sky like a sheet, but I have never looked at an egg and thought it was a fucking brain, not once. I have had seven balls of light come off of a UFO, lead me onto their ship, explain to me telepathically that we are all one and there's no such thing as death. But I've never looked at an egg and thought it was a fucking brain. Now, maybe I wasn't getting good shit, but... Uh, <laughs> That's what I hate about the war on drugs, I'll be honest with you, it's what I can't stand, is all day long we see those commercials, here's your brain, here's your brain on drugs, just say no, why do you think they call it dope? And then the next commercial is, this buds for you. Come on everybody, let's be hypocritical bastards. It's okay to drink your drug. <laughs> we meant those other drugs. Go That's crazy man, that's how it is. I know this is probably an old stand up just off everything that's you know from my man's mullet my man got a mullet shout out to all the people out there rocking a mullet you know what i'm saying i would rock a mullet but it just ain't for me you know what i'm saying but uh shout out to the mullet people out there man um why why is it i don't understand man you know what i'm saying they and it's all just because of money like, you know what I'm saying? With the whole drug thing, like, alcohol is a drug. Like, people get addicted to it. People die from overindulging, like. But it's okay because, you know what I'm saying? They got taxes on it and they know how to regulate it. So. Those untaxed drugs. Those are the ones that are bad for you. Nicotine, alcohol, good drugs. Coincidentally, tax drugs. Ooh, how does this fucking work? Thank God they're taxing alcohol, man. It means we got those good roads we can get fucked up and drive on. Thank God they're taxing this shit, man. We'd be doing donuts in a wheat field right now. Thank God we're on a highway. Woo, this is a good drug. Because I'll tell you something, I'll be honest, man. If, if I were going to legalize a drug, it sure wouldn't have been alcohol. 
sorry, there's better drugs and better drugs for you. That's a fact. You may stop your internal dialogue. Uh, but Bill, alcohol is an acceptable part. Shut the fuck up. You're wrong. Okay? Okay. Shit, man. Not only do I think marijuana should be legalized, I think it should be mandatory. I'm a hardliner. Think about it, man. You get in traffic behind somebody. <laughs> up and smoke that it's the law oh sorry I was taking life seriously oh man who's hungry that'd be a nice world wouldn't it quiet mellow hungry high people everywhere just Domino's pizza trucks passing each other Every single highway, parades of dominoes. <laughs> Let them get stuck in traffic, all our pizzas will be free. I'm a fucking dreamer, man. But I'm not the only one. Dreamers, man. Pot is a better drug than alcohol. Fact. Fact. Stop your internal dialogue. But you have the whole thing. Shut up! You're wrong. Get over it. Okay? Okay. I'll prove it to you, man. You're at a ball game or a concert and someone's really violent and aggressive and obnoxious. Are they drunk or are they smoking pot? Which is it? <laughs> They're drunk. I have never seen people on pot get in a fight because it is fucking impossible. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Hey, what? Hey, hey. End of argument. Say you get in a car accident. You've been smoking pot. You're only going four fucking miles an hour. <laughs> Shit, we hit something. <laughs> oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We got rear-ended by a domino truck, man. <laughs> Just a better world. I'm not promoting the use of drugs. I'm just telling you, I've had good times on them. That's the truth. I've also had bad times on them, too, okay? But I've had good and bad relationships, and I'm not giving up pussy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill and I'm a pussyholic. I like the way it smells. I like the way it tastes. And, uh, keep coming back, man. Keep coming. You're in the right place. I'm not proud of this moment, all right? It happened and I moved on. You know what I mean, though? We need a new enemy because uh, we're so miserable in our own lives, we've got to keep pointing fingers and blaming. Drugs, yeah, drugs are the enemy. Ooh, what were we thinking? People forget about drugs, man. People forget. People think drugs don't do anything good for us. How many people here believe drugs don't do anything good for us? Someone must. Chicken shit. Yeah, I know, because now they got a beer. I don't. <laughs> if you believe drugs don't do anything good for us, do me this favor, will you? Go home tonight, take all your albums and tapes, okay, and burn them. Because you know what? The musicians who made all that great music are real fucking high on drugs. <laughs> Shit, the Beatles were so high, they let Ringo sing a couple of tunes. <laughs> Tell me they weren't partying. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow... We all live... You know how fucking high they were when they wrote that song? They had to pry Ringo off the ceiling with a rake to record that, man. <laughs> Get Ringo, John. He's got a great tune. Pull him down to the mic. John, get Ringo. He's got a great song about we all live in a yellow tambourine or something. I don't know. Uh, John, get off the seat. Oh, fuck. Just bring the mics up here. We'll sing from up in the clouds. They were real high. Great music. They were high. Drugs had a positive effect. Shall I walk you through it again?
George Bush says we are losing the war on drugs. You know what that implies? There's a war being fought and people on drugs are winning it. <laughs> what does that tell you about drugs? Some smart, creative people on that side, they're winning a war and they're fucked up. <laughs> are we winning? It's like they fight the war on drugs like the colonials fought the Indians, right? They're walking in a straight line in red coats. Drug users are like Indians, they're up in the trees going, are they fighting us? We're not even in that fucking field. <laughs> I guess we're winning by default. <laughs> no combat, we're ahead. War on drugs. Hey, I don't get it because alcohol and cigarettes are drugs. So the war is definitely taking a ceasefire here. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol and cigarettes kills more people than crack, coke, and heroin. Come on. You never see a positive drug story on the news, do you? No? Always negative. The news is supposed to be objective, isn't it? It's supposed to be the news, but every drug story is negative. Well, hold it. I've had some killer times on drugs. I'm not promoting it, but I'm not denying it. Let's hear the whole story. Same LSD story every time. Young man on acid thought he could fly, jumped out of a building. What a tragedy. What a dick. Don't go blame an acid on this guy. He thought he could fly. Why didn't he take off from the ground first to check it out? He's an idiot. He's dead. Good. I mean, there's one less doorknob in the world. Woo! What a tragedy. Why so down, Bill? We're missing a moron. <laughs> We're missing a moron. I'd like to see it possible. Billy Hicks, is he dead? Bill Hicks is dead. Rest in peace. I guess I don't. I don't know. That's the first time I ever seen a Bill Hicks stand up or anything. I don't even know who he is. But uh, it's pretty funny. It's pretty true though. A lot of people try to talk about specific drugs being illegal. Don't realize that are there are a lot of drugs that are legal, including the one from your your local neighborhood doctor. Um, just because they prescribe you or say it's okay don't mean it's you know what i'm saying overall good for your body yeah it may help you your arms start hurting but your, your tooth might start hurting, you know what i'm saying bro my tooth been hurting bro i might have to go to the dentist bro i'm just been looking at this snow outside and i know i gotta move today and it's just like i hate the cold why did i why why am i in the cold you know what i'm saying Anyways, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. It's been a pretty chill vibe today. Chill tribe. It's been pretty chill. I'm going to check out some more of these videos. If you, have y'all watched this uh, Gilbert Arenas podcast? It's all right. I don't know what I'm about to watch next, but we'll find out. Peace. Still here? No. If anybody makes it this far into the video, go down in the comments right now and say, Wallaby, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, do that, do that for me.